Today, I want to walk you through how to install the Facebook Pixel inside of ClickFunnels in your funnel, how to install it for conversions, um, all that stuff. So, we're going to start here, how to install the Facebook Pixel in ClickFunnels. Uh, first of all, you do need a ClickFunnels account in order to do this, and I'll put a link in the description below. Um, but you do also need a Facebook ad account, which I'm not going to show you how to set up here. But once you have that set up, um, in when you go into Business Manager in this whole pullout, there's a tab titled Pixels. Go ahead and click on that. And then you'll come right up here to Set Up Pixel. And then it will load. It'll give you a couple options to either use the Integration Manager or copy and paste the code. I always like to copy and paste the code. Um, I don't actually think ClickFunnels has the Integration Manager. If you're more advanced, you already know about that. Um, as well for Google Tag Manager. So for now, we're going to do copy and paste the code. And there's two parts to the code. There's the main base code, which is um, the actual code itself, the actual tracking pixel itself that gets put on all the pages, really similar to Google Analytics code. So go ahead and click that. It will copy it. And then before we go further, then we're going to go head over to Click Funnels. And this is um, just one of my funnels. I kind of have a blog-ish version on here. So once you're into a funnel, um, you can see all the pages, the opt-ins, thank yous, all that stuff. Go up here to the whole funnel. What's nice about ClickFunnels is you can install the pixel into the whole funnel. You don't have to do each page separately. Settings, and there's a lot of stuff you can do on this page. But we'll go right down here to the head tracking code and um, I already have it installed there but go ahead and paste everything you just everything you just um, copied go ahead and paste it right into that section there you shouldn't have to make any alterations at this level and then make sure that you scroll all the way down and click save and update settings or else it will not save it's kind of a hidden button way down there so save and update settings and once you've done that then we're going to go back over to the Facebook Pixel page. Um, as soon as you have that installed like that, you will be able to track everything. You will be able to retarget based on any pages. Um, an extra step that I like to take because some, some ClickFunnels pages have um, dynamic URLs. So that means the tail of it will change. So just to be absolutely sure, or some of these, for instance, there's the same conversion that's on two different identical thank you pages um, for me. So I always also use um, event codes. So then after you've done that, go ahead and click next, and then we're selling the event code. The event code isn't doesn't replace the Facebook pixel. It's a layer on top of the Facebook pixel. So the Facebook pixel um, triggers, and then it sees this extra little snippet to send um, special information that it also saw this little this little chunk here. So for this example, there's all these different categories. For this example, I'm just going to use the lead. Go ahead and click it, and you before we go further, you can see that there's two extra sections in there: value and currency. Um, for just a basic opt-in page where you're just getting emails, unless you can directly tie it, they're actually buying something, or you know or you have pretty good statistics on what a lead is worth to you then you could add a value and a currency there for me most of the time I just delete that so go ahead and click that and copy it and then we're going back over to the funnel so that's um, like I said you can use whichever one makes the most sense for what you're doing so I'm going to click the lead come back over to the funnel and then so I, if you look closely, there's little envelopes. Those mean that it's the, those are the opt-in pages in the funnel. And so I'm going to go to the thank you page for this funnel. Um, actually, I'm going to go down to this one. So I have the thank you page here. Actually, I'm going to edit the page to go into the page. And then it loads up. It's fantastic. And then up in settings, if you go down to tracking code, this is where you install the extra snippet. So this is the little lead. You can see the lead right there. That's going to register into Facebook as an event, which is kind of on top of the pixel itself. And uh, make sure you go ahead and hit save as well. 
on this page and then there you go you have the conversion or you have the event set up um, sometimes I'll also set up an event on the landing page that is just a view content um, event so if we go back over here there's a view content um, I will use this a lot if so this is just a basic landing page. I won't do it on a landing page. But if this is a blog of sorts that has the opt-in within it, then I will absolutely install the Facebook Pixel as view content on this page as well. But for now, I'm not going to, because it's not really a conversion to get people here. I can tell by link clicks. Um, and then, so I've installed that. And then we're going to go back over to Facebook um, next. You should be able to check that absolutely. Um, if you're using Google Chrome, there's the Facebook Pixel Helper that you can download, and it'll help you quite a bit as well. So then, the last thing we have to do um, is create a conversion, and we're going to do it with um, the standard events. You use custom if it's a fancy. Um, if you make your own, so you can actually change that word out. You can change lead. Um, you can see for me, I've done a few different ones um, just based on whatever the lead is for, um, an affiliate lead or whatever it is. And so you can swap that out for sure. And you'll have to wait a few minutes for this to load up um, for it to see the new text and it show up in here. And then when you do that, you want to create a conversion because the, the event is in there, so it'll see the event, but we want to also set it up as a conversion. So we want conversion with tracking. Um, and you'll see it all in there. So those are automatically set up, ready to go. Um, or if you did, if you change out the text, then you want to go in here, create a custom version, and call it an event. And then you'll see some of your custom events that you that you made. And you'll want to set up a conversion for that as well because that's a behavior. So when you're in the Facebook Ads Manager, um, setting up your ad in the ad set level, if the campaign is a conversion type, then in the ad set, whatever your conversion is, you'll want to optimize for that. And the reason we do that is because then Facebook, as it learns what type of people sign up or what type of people take the certain action, it will keep showing your ad only to those type of people who are most likely to take the action. So, for all of you, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Um, just for fun, this might be relevant to you. I'll also link up this page, um, my exact Facebook ads formula and highest converting funnels. Um, I'll go ahead and leave the link to that landing page if you're curious about it. Um, and then, yeah, if you want ClickFunnels, I'll put a link for that in the comments in the description below and if you have any questions please do not hesitate to leave a comment I do watch this channel very closely and will reply as soon as possible so until next time I will see you later make sure you like this video make sure you smash that subscribe button so you can stick with to see all of my tutorials so I'll see you next time see you later